I'm Jim Duff and I'm President and CEO of the Museum and, and the Freedom Forum uh, here in Washington, D.C. and I graduated from the University of Kentucky in 1975. I was going to the University of Kentucky for as long as I can remember. My earliest memory was of my father taking me to the university. We attended many basketball games together when I was uh, a young boy. Our family has uh, deep roots. Uh, we're among the first settlers uh, in the Boonville area in Kentucky and uh, have great loyalty to the university and uh, the Commonwealth of Kentucky. When I got to UK, I just uh, hit the ground running. Uh, was very excited to be there and, and uh, enjoyed every minute of it. Uh, then had the wonderful experience of uh, walking on the basketball team. We had the number one freshman team in the country. We were undefeated. Of course, anybody who's a Kentucky basketball fan can relate to this, but it was a lifelong dream. And uh, just to get to put on that Kentucky uniform uh, was a thrill of a lifetime. Joe Hall uh, gave me that opportunity at the, at the university. And, I'm forever grateful to him and still very close to him and that team and our teammates. Well, I have three children, uh, Matt, Caitlin, and Scotty. And my wife, Kitsy, um, I met her uh, the summer I interned here in Washington in 1974 on the steps of the Supreme Court, actually. Uh, we were standing in line waiting to hear the Nixon tapes case be argued. She was an intern at the same time. I went to uh, Georgetown to law school here in Washington, D.C., and I uh, got a call from the chambers of Chief Justice Rehnquist and became uh, what is now called counselor to the Chief Justice. And I worked for Chief Justice Rehnquist from 1996 to 2000. And then I went back to the private sector and went to a law firm named uh, Baker Donaldson. And while uh, at Baker Donaldson, I was outside counsel uh, to the Freedom Forum and the Museum. But I was also the government uh, representative for the University of Kentucky. That was a great honor and privilege to get to work for the university at that time. I came back to work as CEO and president of the Freedom Forum and the Museum. Everybody's a journalist these days with new media and uh, the reporting of news and the dissemination of information is incredible. Uh, it goes worldwide in an instant, and uh, we're following that very closely here at the museum, and we've certainly incorporated that uh, into uh, uh, the exhibits that we uh, have in the, in the museum, as well as programming that we're putting together. It's sort of a walking arts and sciences uh, lab. I mean, it, there, there's such a breadth of information in it, uh, and educational information about not only our history, but world history, major events that shaped history and our freedoms. Well, the College of Arts and Sciences provides enormous opportunities for students. Uh, the breadth of opportunities to study and various fields is important, I think, and useful throughout your career and your life. I've drawn upon it uh, really now in the position I'm in daily. And uh, I think that's the real strength of a, uh, a degree in the College of Arts and Sciences, is it gives you flexibility to go in various directions and uh, draw upon those experiences in, in so many different ways. You're not really pigeonholed in the, in the one area to pursue.